building the uh, Schwinn quad steer woody wagon. Uh, I picked this up on eBay for $49.99 free shipping, which pneumatic tires at Harbor Freight, not on sale, are 10 bucks a piece, so you can't go wrong. Uh, just a few notes. Uh, it's quite deeper than your standard red wagon. Uh, wood is real wood. The white walls are actually plastic inserts. So that'd be pretty cool to source some of those for your future builds. Uh, the one thing to note, the rear axle is a solid rod and it's just crimped here and here. When you're hammering on these retainers which they give you a plastic tool which lasted you know two hits and broke uh, I ended up using a 15 mil socket over it uh, hitting it so hard that the rod actually slid across so I just put a pair of vice grips on here to keep the rod from sliding out so I could actually get some good hits on it and get it seated uh, other than that it uh, assembles really well uh, the build quality is surprisingly good. The axles are really thick. I don't know how long the quad steering mechanism will last, but if it ever breaks, it's just got a single pivot here. You could always center the rear axle and put two bolts in, kind of like your old regular wagons, and uh, leave it like that. But it's pretty, it's pretty uh, hefty. I'll show you the quad steering so you can look at it. Basically all it is is the front hub turns here. It's got a, like, I don't know, tie rod call it, to the rear axle and it's only got a single pivot there. So when you move it, it just transfers the motion to the rear. It works pretty good. Uh, like I said, surprisingly strong. Got some ribs on it where a lot of your red wagons don't. And this, uh, I think they call it a chassis or something in the directions. Directions are not too bad other than there are a uh, show you real quick bunch of different size bolts and then it says put in bolt number three or whatever but there's no key to what bolt does what so you kind of got to just eyeball it or just try but again there's only a few of them so it's not too hard to trial and error real quick and then uh, another cool thing is you probably saw it in the box is the uh, I have to put on still the hubcaps there's a couple of sheet metal screws go through the back there's holes in the wheels for them so really cool if you can source some of this stuff for your uh, rat wagons or whatever builds pretty neat uh, again Schwinn. I uh, forgot to mention the handle is adjustable it works pretty good it's got a couple detents and then uh, the wheels don't have bearings like a lot of your pneumatic tires do it's just bushings but you know, unless you're hauling huge loads, it'll probably be fine.